Hey guys, so today I want to do a video comparison and review, review here comparing the Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, the new flagship device for Samsung uh, for 2013, which is going to uh, replace the Galaxy S3. And uh, we're going to compare it against a new phone I got the mail today, the Galaxy Mega, which is the biggest Samsung boy ever. Uh, it's interesting. They, they have created like a new lineup now that they don't call the Note series anymore because they don't, they this new Mega series, uh, this new 5.8 inch Mega phone and this new five uh, this new 6.3 inch Mega phone. Uh, they don't have the the S Pen, so that's why they don't call it the Note series probably. So uh, on the right side here we do have the Galaxy S4. On the left side we do have the Galaxy Mega. I'm kind of interesting here because I think this is interesting. I think that the Galaxy Mega is a very, very interesting phone. Now, I've always been a big, big smartphone guy. And since uh, almost like two years now, I've been using Galaxy devices. I've been always upgrading to the latest flagship device. But now I get kind of confused. I mean, like, I like the big stuff and I also like the good stuff. And the Galaxy S4, that, that would definitely be the good uh, stuff in terms of specs. Uh, 30 megapixel camera, uh, the Super AMOLED 1080p Full HD display, um, you know, quad core processor, the latest generation there. Uh, but uh, this boy on the, the Galaxy Mega Hair, it doesn't have like the flashy, it doesn't have the, that 1080p display, that 720p, it doesn't have a quad core processor, that's a dual core, it still have LTE though, it doesn't have 30 megapixel camera, but it has an 8 megapixel camera. And if we're gonna talk real here, if you're gonna do some real talk here, if you ask normal people, will normal people note some major difference between the 30 megapixel versus the 8 megapixel? I don't think so. Will most people note a big difference between the 720p display versus 1080p? I don't think so. So, and also, uh, will people note a big difference between the dual core processor inside of the Galaxy Mega versus the quad core in the Galaxy S4? I don't think so. So. We kind of come down now to the size and the price. The price is definitely going to be interesting on the Galaxy Mega. If it's going to be priced at around like a mid-range device, that is going to be an interesting phone. That is going to be a very, 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 very interesting phone. I went for the Galaxy S2, used that one for two months. Then the Galaxy Note, the first Galaxy Note came out that revolutionized the market with smartphones because it was like the biggest smartphone ever. So I used that one for six months and I totally loved it. The Galaxy... S3, they came out, I used that phone for 6 months, totally loved it, even though the screen was a little bit smaller. Then I switched to the Galaxy Note 2, it was like amazing, I used that phone for 6 months, and now when I'm starting to have problems after the 6 months with my Galaxy Note 2, I'm starting to use the Galaxy S3 again, the black edition that's available right now in my country, the 4G variant. And you can see both the Galaxy Mega here and the Galaxy S4, uh, Galaxy S4 of course, both will kind of like be available in a black variant or at least uh, the Galaxy Mega seems to be a in a black variant but uh, you get uh, like a pebble blue and the, the white edition here of the S4 uh, but I find this interesting because uh, I will all, I always been like you know we, we do have don't complain now you may hear oh it's dual core inside of the Galaxy Mega of course you would notice the difference between the Galaxy s 4s quad core processor but hold on wait a sec it's Exynos 5 inside of the Galaxy Mega. So it's Exynos 5250 Cortex A15. It's not based on Cortex A9 like the Galaxy S3. So uh, the Galaxy S3 was a Cortex A9 but it, it did have four cores and I'm pretty sure the two Cortex A15 cores will simulate kind of the same experience uh, you know that the Galaxy S3 had uh, on you know this uh, Cortex A15. So I think that the Galaxy and Mega might have the same browsing and UI experience uh, as the uh, Galaxy S3. That will be a very interesting phone if that is the case. You can also see that they share kind of the same design here so I don't know, really know right now the kind of the GPU that you're gonna get inside of the Galaxy Mega and we don't know the price right now but we do know that this phone is gonna come out in May uh, so it's a little bit like maybe one month or a few weeks later uh, after the Galaxy S4 launch. Uh, so it's interesting like I've always been a big smartphone guy, and if 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 uh, the Galaxy Mega will be affordable, come in a good price, uh, it will be interesting. And also in terms of the screen size, like 6.3, that's that's a big big boy. Okay, that's a big phone. 
uh, it would be so amazing to walk around with this phone. Like the Galaxy S4 would be like five inch, but Galaxy Mega 6.3. That's a big, big jump. That's a big boy jump. Okay. Uh, so I can't wait to get my hands on this device. I just need it. I love it. I mean, you just imagine watching movies and XXX on the Galaxy Mega. It's going to be totally amazing. And uh, we can look a little bit more now on the hard, uh, a little bit more hardcore now on the specs. Uh, and the Galaxy Mega is also the i 9200 versus the i 9500 S4. So let's see here if we can take a look at some hardcore specs here. Uh, you can see that, yes, the as I said, the Galaxy Mega will come one month after the S4. Uh, both have LTE also, very important to know, both is LTE phones. Uh, we only have though 8 and 16 gigabyte variants of the Galaxy Mega, but I think most people when they buy the S4 also buy the 16 gigabyte variants. Micro SD card on both. Uh, you don't get, I'm not sure, Gorilla Glass kind of protection on the uh, Galaxy Mega, what that's going to be. And also, here, one thing that kind of sucks with the Galaxy Mega is that it's not going to use Super AMOLED, it's going to use some kind of TFT LCD display. And we haven't seen that, uh, of course, the quality of that one. It's also, of course, going to be heavier, around 70 grams more. Uh, one and a half gig of RAM uh, instead of two gigabytes of RAM, so a little bit less than RAM, but I don't think that should be a major problem. And then I've talked about this uh, 8 episode camera. Uh, you do also get this IR, IR sensor. Uh, and uh, like NFC on, on the Galaxy Mega. Uh, if you go down here, also the, the dual core processor is clocked at 1.7 GHz, so it's very highly clocked. This is interesting though. Uh, you will get Mali T604 so you, you, on the Galaxy Mega, which is kind of cool. Samsung has always been going with Mali on their flagship devices, but now with the S4, you will get the PowerVR SGX544 MP3 GPU. Uh, but if you want to go to Galaxy Mega, you're going to get the Mali T604, which is pretty cool. I really want to see how Mali T604 stacks up against the PowerVR SGX544 MP3 GPU on the S4. Uh, so, of course, the Exynos 5 ships it on both here. Um, uh, but, of course, it's a little bit better here uh, on the S4. Uh, Android 4 and 2 Jelly Bean, of course, both will be unveiled with. Uh, this is a little bit disappointing here just because the, the, uh, the new uh, Galaxy Mega... Uh, it is so much bigger than the Galaxy Note 2, but it ha only has 100 more milliamps, so 3200 milliamps, still good battery though, uh, versus 2600 milliamps on the S4, so both have very, very good battery, and I can't wait to see these phones, I mean, like, it's gonna be so amazing, so awesome, so great! Uh, what are your opinions down below? Um, and say, don't say it's too big if you haven't tried out, like, People have been saying that about every single new phone from Samsung, like, oh, it's so big, oh, it's so big. Like, then you ask them, have you tried it? No, I haven't. I, know, I just know it's too big. But, you know, we will see. We will see. I think this is amazing. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and you can tell your opinions down below what you think. And I will probably respond to you. Yeah, have a good day.